FMU, you're on the air. I'm down with that previous caller. <laughs> What's that? I'm down with that previous caller. The previous guy. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that guy, that was something else. I think it's cool. I, I, I would love to go up behind old people and just scare them. What? What? No, you, what the, it, it's, <laughs> it's terrible to do that. No, it's not. I think it sounds fun. To go up behind an old person and scream. Yeah. Well, yeah. To show them that they're still alive. Boy, have you jumped the shark. What's that? I said, boy, have you jumped the shark. Jump the, I jumped the shark. Totally, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, so, when? Right now? No, you jump it every time you open your mouth, every show. I'm sorry. What, I jump the shark when? Every show? Every Yeah, every time you say anything, you jump the shark. Uh-huh. And <laughs> um, Do you know what jump the shark means? What? Of course I do. Well, well, what does it mean? It means you're awful. What do you think it means? <laughs> well, well uh, I, I, you know, I think it, well, you know, actually, I know it means <laughs> that... It's the turning point when you, when something goes from being good to not so good. It's kind of like on Happy Days, when they had the whole thing where it, that's what it came from originally was when uh, Funzy on Happy Days was, uh, you know, the show was kind of about the fifties and was a uh, regular life and uh, you know a and cool and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden it got larger than life and it got stupid and Fonzie jumped his motorcycle over a shark tank. And that's that's where it came from. This the show based on that that old guy, right? Is that what you're talking about? The old guy. Yeah. What old guy? That that guy was like in the sixties? Oh, the Gorch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well he he claims it is, yeah. He claims it's based on him, but it's that's it. Jump the shark didn't come from him. It came from Happy Days. You see that show? Scott Baio is forty-five. You know, I haven't. Single. It's yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm kind of maybe avoiding it. It looks pretty good. What's the big deal? I mean, I'm I'm fifty and single. Uh huh. Well, technically, I'm still married, but you know, I still get down. <laughs> okay. You know. All right. Well, that's <laughs> that's your business. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that 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 attitude. You are so full of it. <laughs> I mean, it's just so typical with you guys, you know. What guys? I heard how you got your show. How I how I got my show? Yeah. How? I don't know about it. You got your show because of ectoplasm. Okay, hold on a second. Because of what? <laughs> I got my show from what? Ecto? Ectoplasm. What is that? Open a dictionary. Okay. Well, I know. Dad. Your dad owns the station, right? And he he gave you the show. All right, there's uh, there's like thirty things wrong with what you just said. Yeah, I know. I know what the big thing is. It's wrong. You took it from Ronald Fuqua. <laughs> oh, Hot Rock and Ronnie. Yeah. I took his show away. Yep. Yeah. Well, first of all, my dad doesn't own the radio station. Says you. Yes, yeah, says me exactly. Says me, the son of my dad. I kind of know what he does, and. And it, it, if, if, let's just say if, if. Right. My dad happened to own the radio station. Right. And he took advantage of that situation to give me a show. Right. What, uh, <laughs> what would that be called? Ectoplasm. Nepotism? What's that? <laughs> That's what that would be. Ectoplasm. I don't know. You're so boring. God, I can't stand it. You're such a blowhard, too. It's weird. You're you're boring, but you're also a blowhard. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. And you're mean to people. I, th yeah. I think that's the big thing that people don't like about you. What's that? That I'm mean to people? Yeah. You, you know, when you gonk them? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I gomp them, sure. You're always flirting with the chicks. <laughs> what? That's the only way you can get any. Oh, you have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I do, too. I've heard you're totally bald. I am not. Don't deny it. I'm not totally bald. Your opinions stink. What? Oh, my opinions stink. Yeah. Oh, and you're so... You know, this is the thing I love. This is what I love the most, 
is when a caller calls you out. No, calls up and you think you can do this. What I'm doing. Do you? Mm Mm-hmm. You think you could? I know I could. You know you could? Do what? You think you so if I you know, you don't like hold court like you do and just spout off about stuff. Okay. So you don't like my opinions on things or my take on things, but you could do that. Absolutely. That's fine. What, let, well, do you want to? Or want, you want me to let you do it? Sure, why not? All right. Well, what, what? Um. I guess in the spirit of what's going on now, you right. know, what, what's, your, what's your take on the whole uh, Lindsay Lohan uh, bust, the whole situation? I'll, I'll totally give you my take on it. All right, that. let's hear it, champ. Hey, hang on. Yeah? My dog is going nuts for me to let him outside. You want to let your dog out? Yeah. Okay. Can I call you back in like ten minutes or so? Sure. What, what, what's your What's your dog's name? Rollins Band. Why? <laughs> your dog's name is Rollins Band. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you go let? I got him as a puppy in in uh, 1995. Uh huh. Yeah. Is, it, is that funny? It's interesting. So why don't you go let Rollins band out? I'm going to let him out. Uh-huh. And I'll, I'll call you back, and I'll devastate you, all right? Okay. I can't wait to hear this. Oh, What's your me. name? Excuse me? What's your name? Bob. Bob. Okay, Bob. So we can look forward to Bob. What are you going to call back in a few minutes? Like 10 or so. Okay, 10 minutes. It takes him a while. Sure. You go take care of Rollins band. Okay. And then call back in 10 minutes. With, I uh, will. And, uh, okay. All right. Jerk. Oh. It, it, all right. Great. So again, 10 minutes, we can look forward to Bob calling back after he takes care of his dog, Rollins Band. FMU, you're on the air. He's got a point. <laughs> what? Who's got a point? The music you play does stink. Oh, oh, Bob, um, is, this, is, this, is this one of your hot takes? You recognize my voice. I love it. Yeah, well, Mike told me it was you. Who's Mike? Mike's the guy who screens calls. All right. All right, Bob, so... uh I guess uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna do. I'm your... gonna take you down several pegs. Is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and I think by the time this my take is over, yeah, don't be surprised if you look out your window there, and there's like this mob with torches. Uh, oh, really? Trying to force you out, <laughs> force me in, and force people will be saying, "I don't even want to do it." They're forcing uh-huh. me to do it. Oh, oh so you, it's like you're uh, being drafted into it, into this like high school radio station. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a high school station. Yeah, like uh-huh. All right. Well, uh, yeah. You let's let's. So Lindsay Lowen. Yep. Big trouble today. Yeah. Are you Are you ready? He's strapped yeah. in. <laughs> I'm strapped in. Yes. You got your helmet on. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's hear it. Dan, 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 another one goes to jail. Dan, 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 another one goes to jail. Oh, Lindsay Lohan, what's become of you? Two DUI arrests in six months? You know, you charmed me in Freaky Friday and Mean Girls, but from there it's been a sad downhill slide. I'm not sure who I'm more upset with. Lindsay, for shunning the lesson she supposedly learned during her recent rehab stint, and going on a drunken, coke-fueled joyride through the streets of Santa Monica. Her mother, Dina, for putting more effort into becoming the, quote, white Oprah than keeping a watchful eye on her confused daughter. Or her psychophantic phalanx of so-called friends who do nothing to keep her and her seemingly naturally large breasts from getting behind the steering wheel. What is it with young Hollywood and its penchant for drug and alcohol-fueled self-destruction? You know, back in my day, stars like Robin Williams, Lisa Welchel, and Lawrence Hilton Jacobs kept their noses clean and let their work do the talking. They cared about their craft, not being seen at the hip new exclusive bars or flashing their Baba Louis for all the world to see. You know, Tom, just like you, I don't wear underwear half the time I go out in public. But most people would never know about it because I don't go showing it. This could be the big wake-up call for Lindsay. But it might not be. Only time will tell. One thing I do know is that Lindsay should take a tip from yours truly and get a full-time driver. The next life she saves could be mine. That's basically how I feel. Hold on, Bob. Yeah. Was that was that recorded? 
was what recorded? Your your uh your rant there. Absolutely not. What? It sounded like that sounded what are you like talking about. Well, that sounded like it was recorded. Well, I've been told that my voice gets a lot more focused and compressed when I start speaking passionately about about something. Something you could stand to do, talk passionately about something. Really? Yeah. Here's what you sound like when you're on the radio. I hate Kevin Smith. Oh, Paul F. Hopkins, you're the greatest. Pat Oswalt, you were awesome in Rat Patrol. Hesh, you stink. Petey's weird. Just bad stuff. Oh. Terrible radio. Wait, <laughs> Rat Patrol? Yeah. What? It's a movie, you you dummy. Yeah, no, I know, I know what Rat. I well, so Pat Oswalt, what is that? Is that the is that his most recent movie? Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me you haven't seen any ads for this thing. For Rat Patrol. Yeah. He plays um, Rudy Rude, the rat with Tood. No. <laughs> Rudy Rude, the rat with Tood. You mean yeah. Ratatouille? What's that? That's the movie that that you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No apology. It could be too great. Uh huh. Uh huh. So so you you. That was you're saying that that wasn't recorded. Not a, of course it wasn't. Get real for a change. <laughs> so so you consider that to be uh, was that it was that uh, you feeling pretty uh, pretty. Uh, good about yourself right now absolutely like you just uh i snuffed you out <laughs> yeah better oh. than any take you ever did uh -huh. yeah okay I got a lot more of them too what i got a lot more of them too. you've got more of them absolutely all right all right you want to do another one i don't have to do anything for you well i'll give you the i'll give you another shot if, you, if you're so uh to do what to give you a take yeah if you're, if you're so proud of your your abilities all right, what do you want me to comment on? Um, I don't know. Did you see the uh, the Newbridge Herald Times Republican Herald today? I did, yeah. Uh-huh. Did you see the story on the, the blue epidemic? Yes. Well, why don't you, you know, a lot of people are getting hooked on blue. It's kind of a problem in, in town. Yeah, you know, why, why don't you tell them, why don't you uh, give everybody a take on that, Bob? I don't, I don't think you personally could handle my take. I'll be glad to give it. All right, let's do hear it. Do you really it. want it? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's hear it. Oh, wait, hang on. Something's going on with Rollins' band in the backyard. Hang on. Oh, no. Hey, I'm going to have to call you back in like 10. I think he got a, a, a raccoon or something. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll call you back in 10, okay? Okay. All right? All right. Shut up. What? Yeah, he's going to call me back in 10. FMU, you're on the air. That call was still more exciting than anything you've said tonight. Oh, 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 Bob. I'm talking, sorry. You're talking about a riddle that probably really stupid. Uh-huh. And you, you know, you and it's still better than anything still. you could have come up okay. with. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, Bob. Uh, is Rollins banned? Did you take care of Ro your dog Rollins banned? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. Oh. Smash your teeth in your face. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Like Rollins would. I think Rollins would hate you. You think so? I know he would. You know he would. Absolutely. Why, do you know him? I, I feel like I do. Uh-huh. You yeah. feel like you do, just from like... From hard volume. Hard Volume was one of his albums. Cheaper. Sounds like someone doesn't deserve to have a radio show. Why? And why is that? Because you should know that. That Hard Volume was one of his albums. Exactly. Okay. Ugh. So, are you ready to... Uh, You're one of them. I'm one of who? One of them. Oh, see, you don't even get that reference. Oh, is that my war? Oh, cheapers. There you go. See? Here, here. Oh, or one thanks. for the Pony League. Yeah, thank you, Bob. Anytime. So uh, why don't you get to it? Blue? Yeah. You really want my take on blue? Yes. I got to hear if, if you are such a, uh, you're so interesting when you're giving your take. Absolutely. Let's hear it then. You ready? Yeah. All right, hang on. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Sure, this blue thing is getting pretty heavy, but I don't know if I'd call it a problem. 
Now, before you go into one of your patented sharpling hissy fits, let me just say that I've done my share of hard partying, so I speak from experience. I mean, I was seeing 10 years after and Professor Wig and the lollipop conundrum at Maurice Kern's Newbridge East whacked out of my gourd on pink minnows, Newbridge's best acid, when you were watching New Zoo Review in knee pants. In the late 70s, I practically lived at Newbridge nights, discoing till dawn, flying on cocaine and white licorice, Newbridge's best designer speed. During the 80s, yeah, you could find me headbanging the Guns N' Roses, Metallica, and White Tiger at the Newbridge Coliseum, drunk out of my mind on Kern Vossier and soda. Man, I got so far into black fudge, Newbridge's purest smack. During the mid-90s, they used to call me Dr. Fudge down at the grunge pit. So I speak from authority when I say, blue is nowhere near as bad as people are making it out to be. You know, blue's actually been a real calming presence in my life. I wouldn't be surprised if the government made blue mandatory at some point in the future. But until then, I'll be purchasing this life-saving product from the fine folks at Sieben unter Elf. That's basically my take on, on things. That was a tape. What was? What you just played. You're nuts. I heard the volume shift in it. What? No, sometimes if I get super passionate, I've been told that I do have what they call, uh, uh, like volume, uh, sort of like vo volume rides, you know, like I go up and down a little bit. Oh! It's all I could way. hear, what about all the hiss? What hiss? It was, sounded, it sounded like a cheap tape recorder. Why are you so suspicious? I mean, we could go back on for and forth all night on this. Uh huh. Well, we could, and I think you would, you would, Deny it because you know you're doing it. Oh, shut up! Hey, I'm gonna split. I gotta, I gotta roll. What? what? No, no, no. Well, what? let's uh, let's hear. Uh, if you're if you're such a hot shot, and you're not taping these things, is Rollins Band in now? He is. Uh huh. Is he uh, taken care of? He is. Did you? Okay, did he have a uh, dog bone? He's okay. He's not He's gonna. He's fine. He, you're not gonna need. What are to, you getting at? You're not gonna need to. I want to see if you can talk about something. Right. And I'm not been doing that. Yeah, you are. And not have to, no, one of your takes, and not have to go take a uh, 10 minute break. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. You know, okay. And that's what do you want me to talk about? Uh, President Bush. President Bush. I got, I, I got a lot of opinions on. President Bush. All right. Okay. I don't think you're ready for him, though. I really don't think you're ready for him. What's that? My takes. Your your take your take on President. Uh, maybe Bush. you are. Maybe you are. Let's hear it. Okay. I know. I know. Lots of people are saying that President Bush has gotten us way in over our heads with Iraq. But trust me, we're not in over our heads. If I hear one more crybaby going on about blood for oil, I'm going to turn this place into a car wash. we got to believe in President Bush's leadership and let those scuds and smart bombs do their thing. Operation Desert Storm will not only rid us once and for all of this Saddam Hussein character, it's going to ensure President Bush's victory in next year's election. Now, if you'll excuse me, Samantha Fox is on Arsenio in a few minutes, and I need. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Samantha Fox <clears throat> is on Arsenio. Which that was the uh, that? How old was that? How old was what? That that was the other President Bush, his what? father. I was just kidding you, man. It was a joke. What was a joke? That whole thing. Can you take a joke? Yeah, when you talking about the ele the upcoming election next year? Yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed to make jokes. What is that from '91? You don't know what you're talking about. All right, you want my take? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want your take. Let's hear okay. it. Okay, President Bush in a nutshell. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Control 
and slowly tears you apart. That, that was weird. I, I actually turned the radio on. Right. That was you! The what? radio. What, did you put the wrong tape in? I didn't do anything. I, actually, I told you, I just turned the radio on by accident. Oh, and, and Jeez, a weird... On. Okay. All right, I'm ready, okay? About President Bush. Let me get settled in here. George W. Bush. That's right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. What are the chances of me turning the radio on again yeah, and, and there being another Genesis song? What are you, a huge fan of late period Genesis? I, I, I've been lucky that they've been playing them on the radio just now. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Two, two different songs, two of my favorites. Yeah. I can't dance and Invisible Touch. Oh, what? Those aren't cool? No, those aren't cool. They're not even. They're not even. They're, those are, that's just some of the worst music ever made. Wait. What? You're nuts. I'm nuts. Yeah, you're pushing me. Yeah, well, you know what? You have yet to. You are definitely recording these things. I'm not Just admit okay. it. Okay, all Just right. Just admit it. Here it is. All right. Yeah? Here you let's go. hear your take on the spot, not Here you a go. tape. Okay. President Bush. Yeah, let's hear it. Hello, Miss Blackwood. I hope this tape finds you fit and well. You don't know me, but I sure know you. MTV just isn't the same since you left. Sure, this new guy Smash is incredible, but he doesn't ooze sex like you do. Oh. Speaking of oozing, I was wondering if I could put my... No, 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 no. no. Another joke. <laughs> What was that? I'm trying to lighten the mood. What was that? Some weird audio letter to Nina uh, Blackwood? Not, I don't know. <laughs> well, what Wait, was so it's it? It's not cool for someone to like Nina Blackwood? No, it was your voice, right? It was your voice. Yes or no? I don't have to answer anything. You know why? Why? Because at this moment, I'm announcing my candidacy for the mayubatorial election of Newbridge. Really? Yes. So you're throwing... I am. You're throwing your name into the ring. I am. Really? I am. Uh, what, uh, uh, so you're going to run for, for mayor next Absolutely. July? You're talking to your next mayor for the next 10 years. Starting really? In 08. Yep. So Bob. Yep. Uh, we, we can look forward to Bob entering the, uh, the race. Absolutely. Is there a party that you're running on? Yeah, I, loosely, yeah. And what party is that? The Newbridge Freedom Lovers. Why? Oh, uh, aren't you a freedom lover? Probably not. You know, no. I like the I like the notion of freedom. It's more than a notion, son. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. So uh, please, Bob, want to tell us about your platform that you'd be running on uh, to be mayor of Newbridge? Oh, I I will definitely tell you my my platform. Hang on, let me take a little drink of water here. Bob? Days later, I'm working at the store and I get a call. It's Dez. The band is still up in New York taking a few days off and they want to know if I want to come up there and jam. I don't understand what they mean, but it's the flag talking, so I hop to it. I went back to my apartment and called Ian and explained that I thought I was being asked to audition for Black Flag. Damn, it's the wrong After that, my roommate came in and asked... Damn it! Wow. Bob, it sounded like a little bit of uh, the audio book for Henry Rollins' Get in the Van. He played there. Bob.